All right, today uh, we got our Schwinn Shuffle uh, that's been modified to an E-Cruiser Deluxe with the electric hub motor. We got the battery pack down here, uh, speed controller in this little pouch. So what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, replace the front forks with this actually set of suspension forks. Uh, take these caliper pinchy brakes off. We're going to put a disc on the front, new rim, and a new set of uh, tires front and rear. The uh, reason for doing this, we got like 450 miles on the bike. It's been a great bike so far, but uh, as with anything, you always want to add mods and uh, change it to your style. So uh, let's get to it. All right. So what we did, uh, I went to eBay. I got a set of uh, suspension forks. They were just under 100 bucks. I think they were 80, 90 bucks. Got to have the one inch stem, and it's got to be tall enough because these bikes have a, uh, a fairly tall headset there. Uh, and actually on this set, I actually had to cut it down a quarter of an inch, just a little bit. That way the uh, top nut goes on uh, properly. And then I've also took the front fender, put the front fender on it. And I got the chrome hoop actually off a different kick bike, which is the rear one actually fit because the bolts are in a different place versus down lower on, say down here on these forks here. Also, we got on Amazon.com, uh, oh, instead of uh, putting a manual disc brakes, also on this mod, so uh, start tearing this puppy apart. All right, so once you get your your old forks off, we're actually gonna be changing all this, so all this is gonna be junk. You gotta remember to take off this bearing race here and you gotta install that on the new fork, which I have a set. And the other thing you wanna make sure is that your stems are almost identically in length. That way everything goes right back together perfectly. Cool. Also, here's my new uh, front, front rim and tire combo. We're using the uh, the Schwabble Big Bin. It's actually a 2.125, oh, 2.15. Uh, so it's actually a bigger in diameter, a little bit taller, which will give you a little more uh, cushion. And then uh, we're putting it on disc brakes. And this is a rim I picked up from my local flea market for 20 bucks because I needed the, uh, the disc brake hub piece on it. It's a little old and ugly, but it's gonna work beautiful for what we're trying to do. I spared everyone the, uh, the pain and agony of pulling off the rear hub, which is not that bad. Just gotta undo the connector and the, 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 uh, the nut. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna replace this tire. Also, it's gonna match the front. Got 450 miles on this. So got decent tread, but uh, it's not as cool as these uh, Schwabble Big Bends. Uh, this one, we're also putting a 20 by 2 point, what was it? 2.15. Schwabble. They also they got this uh, reflective uh, stripe, so you don't have to actually have the reflectors in your rims when you got this on your tires, which actually uh, adds to a safety benefit. Cool tread, man. All right, so I'm gonna smash this apart and smash it back together and uh, see what we got. All right, so I ran into a little little actually it's a clearance issue trying to put that rear wheel on. Seems that. Uh, going with the 2.15 is a little tight and it was rubbing the, the whole fender and so actually I had to uh, we're gonna mod it so let's see what I did all right so that's the fender we're actually gonna uh, we're gonna cut this pretty much in half and make like a half fender type setup something like that but an uh, issue we ran into was the clearance between here and the tire I actually uh, had to use a trusty old hammer there and I added about three-eighths of an inch moved it forward because it was just barely rubbing it so we beat it a little bit forward and then we're going to uh, pull the tire back off 
and then somehow mod a fender in so you don't get mud on you. Alright. Boom! All done. Uh, we had to do a few mods. This is uh, how big the rear fender used to be. And that thing used to go like that. We've uh, drilled two new holes, cut it, removed pretty much this much. Looks good. Oh yeah. And we got amazing amounts of uh, ground clearance. You can fit a can of Pepsi underneath this thing. Also, you can see I have a brick here, so that's about how much the front got lifted. I uh, used a nice big bin, matching set of tires, front and rear. Uh, I'm going to go take this thing for a spin, and uh, now we got suspension. This is going to be so much nicer. It was a little stiff before, and now it should just glide over bumps. Out of the hole. I've got a taller back tire now, so it uh, takes a little more, a little more water to get her going. But I should gain a little bit on the top end. Uh, suspension is super nice. It rides way smoother than it did before, and I got more ground clearance too. So this is actually I can go uh, more off-road type areas with it, dirt roads, gravel roads, stuff like that. But uh, we'll do a price breakdown here in a second. All right, price breakdown. Uh, let's see what this mod today costs us. Uh, so, front forks, I uh, got on eBay for like 90 bucks-ish. Uh, the caliper set and rotor, I got on Amazon. I think I paid 30, 35 bucks. I had to get a longer cable. I think I got those on Amazon too. But that's for front and rears. I haven't done the rear yet. I'm gonna see if I can get a bracket so we can put disc brakes on the rear because that'd be pretty, pretty dope. And then uh, what we got? We got the rim itself. Uh, it's 20 bucks at Denial's Farmer's Market there in Roseville. Uh, the front tire cost me 42 bucks eBay for the Schwabel Big Bin 26 incher. I got the, the rear Schwabel Big Bin 20 inch. Uh, I think I paid just, uh, just under 30 bucks for it. Also eBay. So all in all, today's mod to get suspension on the front, more ground clearance, new rubbers, uh, a little bit taller, about 220 bucks I'm into this thing. So this is, uh, this is gonna be a fun ride now. Hope you guys like it, enjoy.